I smell a romantic comedy. Oh, oh, a beautiful left wing communist in Congress, <laughs> a dashing right wing male fresh off a wrongful accusation of sexual misconduct. They come together to, to fight one of the most corrupt practices in politics. And they fall in love. They can't help themselves. She's got a French poodle. He's got a strange hairline. But somehow they're going to make it work. And then they're going to leave politics and start their own business. It'll be like a bakery, a bakery, a vegan bakery, a vegan bakery for pets. He's happily a married. A vegan bakery. No, he's going to leave her. No, he's, he's not. Ginger's he's married. 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 Don't ruin it. She's in. I love to get my political news. From the five, watched by millions of people, one of the most influential political shows, fantasizing about Representative Alexandria Casa Cortez getting with Matt Gates. It's deeply weird. It's also not the first time that they've done this sort of thing. Like this is the first time I know of that they're bringing Matt Gates into it, but they love fantasizing about AOC. Now, maybe Gutfeld doesn't enjoy it as much as Ben Shapiro or some of the others, but they cannot leave that out of their commentary around AOC. In this particular case, though, what makes this notable is that Matt Gates has actually responded. Take a look at this. It does seem a little childish to me that the media always has to over sexualize everything that AOC is involved with. They wouldn't do that to men. And two people can engage in serious legislation that's not renaming some post office, but trying to make our mm -hmm. Congress mm -hmm. more honest and more ethical without that type of, I think, very childish and immature commentary. You know, like twice a year, Matt Gates is not wrong, or even, dare I say it, right. Yeah, they do that. They do that around AOC, not just AOC, but definitely, especially AOC. And uh, he's also right that they would not do that with a man. I mean, they, they included him in this case, but if not for AOC, they wouldn't have done it at all. So he is pointing out the just latent, blatant, uh, I should say, misogyny in the five right there. He's 100% right. Feels weird, JR, but what do you think? Not, and by the way, not just right about the response, but right in what led to them saying this stuff in the first place, which is that he happened to be working with AOC to sponsor a bill that would prohibit members of Congress from trading individual stocks. So right on the substance, right on his woke defense of AOC, what do you think? Yeah, it's it's weird because maybe someone finally, I guess, introduced Matt Gates to the Republican Party and pundits and all the folks that always supported him and prompt and promoted him and pushed him forward. This is how they do it. They've always sexualized people. That's why they have this unnecessary and fake fear of uh, drag reading hours or the existence of gay folks. Everything that they think is sexualized. They're actually really fiendishly sexually like addicted. The way they talk about people, like you keep throwing your sexuality in my face. Every five seconds, all they can think about, this is a bill, <laughs> as you pointed out, this is a bill about keeping folks from trading stocks and cheating people out of money and having these types of advantages. But somehow all they see is some kind of weird sexualized relationship. It is odd to see these two working together, but that's the best that they can come yeah. up with because that's exactly where their mind goes. Oh, and when AOC said, every time you guys talk about me, you talk about sexualized things. Uh, what do you guys like are obsessive a bit? And they go, oh, look at this pompous a hole. Look, she thinks that she's so hot. You guys keep talking about her in these terms. So I think it's pretty much been confirmed, not from what she said, but from what you said, this is the only direction that you can go with any kind of criticism. And now Matt Gates gets swept up in it and he's somehow annoyed. Bro, you've been benefiting from it for years. Sports Illustrated, famous for its iconic swimsuit covers over the years, is making headlines and history with its latest edition. At 81 years old, Martha Stewart has become the oldest cover girl to pose for the publication. I think this is great, um, celebrating women. You know, you don't have to be a, a perfect you know, model in your 20s. Um, she looks beautiful, she looks great. I'm all for it. Go and you know, she looks happy. Am I the only hater? She does. I'm gonna yeah. be a hater. <laughs> I'm not down with it. Like she's 80. Are we gonna put like 90 year olds in the cover? Like, sure, it's like, why not? It's like putting yeah. obese people. I on know the cover. 30 year olds who don't look that good. My Mima looked no, great in a bathing suit. I'm not and she down was so with proud it. of it. I just like look. We don't. I don't want to give young girls complexes. So I understand that we don't want to feed unhealthy perceptions among young people. We also don't need to go nuts with it, right? It's like telling people that like 
Lizzo's healthy or something. I'm sorry, you're not. Like, I, oh, I, I could just say this. Stewart no, but it's just like so it's like this whole movement of like, oh, we have to have the oldest. We have to do this. We have I love to. Do it. I don't know. I'm not down with it. I don't want to like give uh, young women a complex, but I'm gonna try anyway. I'm just gonna push past that impulse and attack this woman. I think what is happening there is sort of notable in that like Kaylee McEnany and uh, Harris Faulkner are both fine with this. So that's good. I'm a little bit surprised they're fine with it. Lisa Booth is like, wait, what show do you guys think you're on? We're yeah. supposed to be insulting people. How dare she be old and show skin? That's our whole thing. We're women who are supposed to attack women constantly. Where women are supposed to say women are the worst. They should shut up, they should cover up unless they're hot, then they should uncover. Uh, they should have the exact same sort of hair of the same length. They should wear the same sorts of dresses, they should show their legs. Uh, and they're bad, they're bad, bad, bad. And you guys are getting down on me because I'm the one doing this. That's what this show is. So Lisa Booth. I think is doing what's necessary to move up in the ranks at Fox Emma. What do you think? Oh yeah, so she she saw like, oh wait, Kaylee McEnany just had a moment where she acted like a human. This is my opportunity. Even though I know the brunette thing is kind of working against me in the Rupert Murdoch owned Fox News situation, but look, I can get one up on the blonde here. I mean, it's the the gratuitous gratuitous bringing up of Lizzo too. God, like enough about this one singer they're obsessed with her because she's black and because she's a woman and because she doesn't really care about uh appealing to these incredibly stringent and harmful standards in and of themselves of of body image she just is herself and i'm pretty sure she's just like a band geek right she likes the flute yeah. i mean give me a break <laughs> but but back to, but back to martha stewart you know you're going to be old one day too lisa booth you're going to be that age one day too and i hope that whoever you're with thinks you're still as beautiful as Martha Stewart looks on that cover. Um, yeah. That's the purpose of this kind of stuff is they're trying to bring in new audiences, right? I'm sure Sports Illustrated had a focus group and made this decision based on making money, right? So we don't need to glean too much from this. But I just couldn't care less. <laughs> and. Yeah. That's honestly one of being a leftist is much harder than being a right winger because it's difficult to like constantly be beating back this kind of stuff. But I will say there's one thing that we're liberated from, and that is caring about the anatomy of Disney characters, <laughs> sexual orientation of parents in Pixar movies, and things like Sports Illustrated covers. Yeah. But they fix it on this because they want you know the 85 year old Fox and Friends viewer to be like, yeah, I want to see a hot lady like Farrah Fawcett on the cover, not an old one like me.